I'm John Adams, Technical Director at Spectrum. In this video, we're going to cover how to calibrate smart ESCs. So the first thing that you need to understand is, especially with the ready-to-run vehicles, the ESC is already calibrated to the Spectrum radios. So even if you change to a different Spectrum radio, the precision of the radio, as far as full throttle, full brake in the center position, is, is extremely accurate. In fact, those positions are within a few microseconds. So generally, as long as you stick with the Spectrum radio, even if you go from a, you know, a DX2E to a DX3 to a 5R to a, you know, whatever, you name it, throughout the brand, throughout the class, you'll find that those settings are, are really ultra, ultra close. So much so that you can't perceive any difference. So there's really no reason generally to have to uh, calibrate the ESC. If you're gonna switch to a different brand of radio, uh, especially there are actually some radios that have the throttle pulse in the opposite direction, then it will be necessary to calibrate the ESC. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the process and show you some of the, some of the pitfalls that people have when they're calibrating a uh, smart ESC and specifically with an ABC receiver. So let's get started. Okay, so very much like binding, it's very important that the settings on the transmitter be set correctly. So the process of calibrating your ESC is so that you correctly capture full throttle, you correctly capture that center position, you correctly capture the brake position. So. Obviously, you know, on the DX3, you're going to want the throttle limiter to be at 100%. So, you know, 100% occurs at 100%. 100% actual true travel occurs at 100%. So throttle limit needs to be at 100%. The brake rate. Generally, you're going to want to turn the brake rate up full or all the way clockwise. So you're wanting to capture the full brake rate. So that's very important as well. Your throttle trim. You know, you'll want to center the throttle trimmer because that's what we're gonna do. We're going to calibrate where that trimmer position is, we're gonna calibrate where that full throttle position is, and we're gonna calibrate where that brake is. So depending upon what transmitter you're using, be sure that all those throttle settings are set appropriately. Generally, it's 100% um, throttle, 100% brake, or in this case, brake rate, and the trim needs to be centered or very close to center. So that's the first thing. Set the radio up correctly so that you're ready to calibrate your ESC. Now, the next thing you do is turn on the transmitter. Okay, of course, this assumes that the system's already bound. Um, if your system's not bound already, then you need to go and check out some of the previous videos. But the system needs to be bound in order to enter an ESC calibration mode. Then, this is very important. With the switch, press and hold the select button and hold it down and then press the power button and hold it. And hold it just long enough and release it until the red LED flashes. And also if a motor's hooked up, you'll notice that the, um, you'll, get a, you'll get a beeping tone. So you hear that beeping tone? And if you take a look here, you see that you have a flashing red LED, okay? So the LED's flashing. Now, in most cases, keep in mind the car was level and it was motionless. In most cases, the receiver is going to um, go ahead and connect. Now, with a big monster truck like this or like this, that pulsing to the motor can move the car enough that it may not connect. So don't be surprised if you turn it on, you get that beep and the light doesn't come on. At this point, it doesn't matter whether it's on or off. Now, here's where it does matter. Press the select button one time. When you did that, you just save the neutral position. Notice that that beeping goes off. Um, and now there's no motion in the car. You know, a truck like this is not gonna be pulsing and so on. And it's extremely important to note that the LED needs to be on and solid, okay? So the next thing you do, you pull full throttle. You press the set button. Get two green blitz, full brake, press the set, and then center it. And then we'll go through a series of beats. So now your ESC is calibrated and you're ready to go. 